Hey friends, welcome back. We are starting another round of seeds. This is the seven week mark from planting day, um, which is planting day is one week after my average last frost date, just to be on the safe side for the tomatoes and peppers and stuff like that. So I will show you what we're doing real quick and then we'll get it done. Black creme tomato, black beauty, orange hat, it's supposed to be a small, small plant, so Excited for that. This was a free seed packet from Baker's Creek. Sun Sugar. Super Sauce Hybrid Roma Tomato. Roma VF. Tomato Gladiator Hybrid is a Roma. And a Giganti Tomatillo. That's just the tomatoes, which is all these solo cups right here. Now we have those back there that are not tomatoes. I'll show you what those are now. African daisies, cosmos, cosmos, alyssum, snapdragons, shasta daisy, petunia, amaranth, balloon flower. I screwed, I already tried these and I screwed them up so I gotta do it again. Trailing petunias. Got two kinds of lavender here. Mugwort, elecampane is a, a medicinal, chamomile, I have a little bit of German left here, and then we're going to try this as well, I think it's, it says something about being sweeter than German chamomile, and then more German that came in a medicinal variety. Marshmallows, medicinal, wormwood, medicinal, feverfew, medicinal, valerian, medicinal, Lovage Medicinal, St. John's Warts Medicinal, and this is to sweeten my tea. It does an amazing job. It's so good. And tarragon. Tomatoes and tomatillos will be a quarter inch, so let's get to it. I've had people in the comments ask me why I grow so much and where am I going to put them. Well, I have room in the garden for everything. I do a few extras because not everything will germinate. I have a coworker who likes to have my extras, so I plant extras in order to have extras for backup for myself and for her. And I also start seeds for my neighbor. So that is why we do so much. And majority of this, 90% of this, maybe 80% on the tomatoes will actually fit in my garden. Tomatoes are done. Yay. We got to get these out of the way. Let's go put them on the grow station. Just kidding. We didn't water them in. Cinnamon helps with the fungus. Keep that nasty green stuff off. It's an antifungal. Okay. I think we got it. Water in the seeds. Keep the seeds moist and help settle the soil around the seeds. All right, done. Let's take him over there. The lights will be right above them, so that's awesome. Let's move these. <laughs> Onions are insane looking. Ah, we're gonna move them up higher. Wow. Just, wow. I feel like that side's lower than that side. It's still good enough. I might double check these because it's on the second, second link. Well, these are also on the second link. So 
maybe the shoving unit is crooked. Oh well, not a huge deal. Tomatoes are done. Okay, we've already gone through all the seeds, shown you what they are. And so I'm just gonna do it real quick. I do need to fill a couple more cells because as I'm going through them, I'm like, mm, I want more of that than what I currently decided because I made these tags and decided a few weeks ago. So we'll do, a, we'll do a bit more of some of these things because I have a plan for the side garden, so I need a few more. We managed to cram a whole bunch of stuff onto the top shelf of the grow, grow station over there. The new trays, sorry, I can't think of the word that I got from the bootstrap farmer or something like that. They're super sturdy. So I can't fit three in side by side anymore because uh, they just, they won't give. A little, like I used to squish the cheap ones in a little bit and I could, anywho. So I have to work in smaller things around the sides and they're, Hanging off the sides just a little bit, but they shouldn't fall. And if they do, that'll be a bummer, but making room. So one more thing I want to do with you today. And that one more thing is some more winter sewing. I know some of you don't even have winter going on anymore. 
But for me, um, we'll still have freezing temperatures. We could still have snow and all kinds of crazy weather for the net for another month or so. So um, winter sowing is like cold stratifying seeds and 30 days or more is recommended for a lot of the seeds that you want to cold stratify. Therefore, I can winter sow them. They're gonna get warm, cold, warm, cold in this process, but it's gonna imitate nature. And um, we'll see what we can do. I think that I'll have room for more, so let's start more, and I definitely have enough seeds. Also, the ones I did in the muffin, but when we, whenever we wintered, winter sowed in the muffin containers, um, last month or two months ago or something. We have a video on that. It's called winter sewing in cupcake containers. Um, I didn't put hole. I didn't put holes in the bottom because I was going to keep the lid on at all times. Well, water could actually leak in there, and so it kind of flooded them. And the only current thing surviving that that had sprouted is snapdragons. They're doing okay. So um, we're going to do a few more since those failed. Bummer. Okay, so we're going to do bachelor, but but bleh, bachelor button that I saved from the landscape here. Coreopsis that I saved from the landscape here. This bee mix here, this whole thing. And, oh, actually, I wanted to move this. Yarrow here, chamomile here. Well, I'm glad we got that done. I got quite a mess to clean up now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.